transition into uh, the Giants. I just kind of want to talk about them because I saw Kayvon Thibodeau was in the news uh, for him and Lawrence Taylor were going back and forth. Just friendly, cordial, you know, kind of jawing at each other a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but it got me thinking. It's like, well, they're going to have a good defensive line, right? Dexter Lawrence, Kayvon Thibodeau. They signed uh, Brian Burns or traded for Brian Burns, whatever. They acquired Brian Burns this offseason, the uh, edge rusher from Carolina. Uh, Drew Locke is, like, competing and taking reps with the ones, and Daniel Jones is still there making, what, 40-something million. So uh, it's a weird situation. Brian Dable, is he a is he good coach? Because he went to the playoffs and won a playoff game, and then he sucked last year. So, like, what are the Giants? And I don't really know. To me, they feel like the Patriots with a – I would say Dan Jones is a better quarterback than anything that's in New England right now. Yeah, um, I'd say they have a better offensive line than what's in New England right now. And I would say from a pass rush standpoint, they have a better pass rush than what's in New England right now. But they both face the same challenges where it's like, well, we don't really have any weapons. And they're like, we don't have anybody on the outside that can consistently win on a route, whether it be against man, against zone, over the middle, on the outside. They don't really have a guy that can go do that. So, look, we can bang on Daniel Jones all we want, and I will, and I will definitely throughout the year. I'm completely out on Daniel Jones, the franchise quarterback. But let's not act like he has a ton to work with here. Like, it is a barnyard musical in the skill position rooms. Uh, yeah, like Malik Neighbors should help, but, like, do we really think Malik Neighbors, back to the discussion we had earlier, is Malik Neighbors actually worth any points or wins on their win total or, or point total for a game? Absolutely not. I don't think so. Maybe... I mean, if he goes out as of right now as a rookie, no. I mean, halfway through the year, if he ends up being a stud, yeah, maybe he's worth a point, a point and a half. But I, look, Devontae Adams can miss a game. The line will move by about a point. Like, it's not – there's not a significant line movement for non-quarterback positions. That's just the reality of the situation. You know, baseball's a big war. I mean, uh, war is a big stat. It means wins above replacement. Yep. In football, the war, everybody's war would be really low. Like, your wins above replacement is not actually that what you think it is. It's about a half a game if you're a top-end non-quarterback position, like a T.J. Watt, like a like a Justin Jefferson, etc., right? You're about a half a win, maybe a win. So I, I don't know how valuable Malik Neighbors is actually going to be. Is he going to be able to turn anything around? I don't think so. My prediction for the Giants, and I'll pull up their schedule here, and we'll just do kind of a little bit, go, you know, kind of go through it, win-loss type of thing. I enjoy doing stuff like this. Um, I think they're going to miss Saquon Barkley. I think when you look at Daniel Jones' splits, um, okay, I don't want the San Francisco Giants. Thank you, though. <laughs> when you look at the splits between Daniel Jones' career with and without Saquon, it's not pretty. So I, I think that's going to kind of come to rear its head. Uh, okay, so they open at home against the Vikings. I would say Sam Darnold will be starting, so it's not a decided quarterback disadvantage for the Giants. I would still go Vikings slightly. Your take? I'd go I'd go Vikings. Sure. At Commanders. Like and we haven't the seen Jaden Daniels playing. I would play. Or not Jaden, yeah, we haven't seen Jaden Daniels play. I'd take the uh, Commanders. I would though. go Commanders because they're at home too. Uh, at the Browns. I'd go Cleveland. All day. Yeah. The Cowboys visit New York. Cowboys. I would go the Cowboys. They go to Seattle. Seattle. They host the Bengals. Bengals. They host the Eagles. Eagles. They go to Pittsburgh. Now, hear me out. That's absolutely a game Pittsburgh would lose. That would that shock you? Even it's an eight fifteen. It's a prime time game. Would that even shock you a little bit if the Steelers lost that? No, but I'm not going to predict it. In fact, I'm going to predict it. So you're not going to. So no. you have them zero for. I have them one for. Uh, then the Commanders go to New York. I'll give the Giants that win as well. I think with a rookie quarterback, who knows what Jaden Jones is going to be looking like by this point? That's week like what eight. I'll give them, I think they split against the Commanders. Okay. Then they go to Carolina. It's probably a win. Carolina sucks. Pretty yeah. bad. Then they have the Bucks at home. Probably, probably lean Bucks. Yeah. Baker, they won a playoff game last year, no? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll take the Bucks. Sure. At Dallas. Dallas. They host the Saints. Coin flip game, I'd probably go Saints, but yeah. it's at least close. They Ravens go to New York. Ravens. At Atlanta. Atlanta. The Colts at home. I'll take the Colts at home. Well, Colts will be on the road, but yeah. And then the Eagles at at Philly. Okay. Philly. So there's what, like two or three wins in there? Maybe. So I And those are scrappy, like, fight for it wins, too. I think I'm going to go, you know, because I think at the end of the day, like, 
people tend to win. I feel like when we do these for bad teams, we always underestimate. I'll give them. I'll give them four wins. Um, I think they'll steal that Pittsburgh win. I think they'll split with the Commanders. Yeah, I, I think they'll they'll beat the Panthers. That's three right there. I think they'll steal one of the following games: the Vikings, the Bucks, the Saints, or the Colts. I think they'll win one or two of those four games. So I'll give them four, maybe five, if they're really good. I don't see it with the team. I don't. It's gonna be ugly. It's gonna get ugly fast, and it's not gonna get any better. I just don't. I don't see it at all. Where do you think Daniel Jones falls in terms of ranking? Let me do a Daniel or let's do a, let's do a real quick. I'll fire it off to you this time. Okay. Daniel Jones or okay. Kyler Murray. Kyler. Oh, thank God you worried me that you even paused. Derek Carr. Uh, Derek Carr. Baker Mayfield. Baker. Without seeing him play a down of NFL football, Jaden Daniels. You give him a chance. You give him Jaden Daniels a yeah. chance. Caleb Williams. Ooh. That's absurd. That's I'll give, absurd. I'll give Caleb a chance. Sam Darnold. Uh, Daniel Jones. Really? Yeah. I think that's closer than I would think. I think that's the closest one you've given. Russell me. Wilson. Russ. I agree. Deshaun Watson. Uh, Deshaun. Not that number, though. Well, yeah, that number sucks, but from a, let's just go from a pure talent standpoint. Yeah, Deshaun. Geno Smith. Geno beat him last year. I'll take Geno. Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm not taking anybody over Daniel Jones, or I, or Daniel not, Jones over anybody. Sure. So you would have him as the 32nd best quarterback in football. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of who would be worse. Seriously, who would you take over? You, I don't know. I'm thinking. Atlanta, no. I mean, let's go through the divisions. AFC North. Steelers. Anybody in anybody in Pittsburgh? Nope. I'd probably take Pittsburgh. Yep. I take obviously Baltimore, in Cleveland. Cincinnati, Cleveland. C.J. Stroud, yes. Anthony Richardson, yeah. Yeah. Will Levis? Okay, Will Levis? Will Levis is a discussion. I, Close. Clo- I believe Daniel Jones. Sure. Trevor? Take a Trevor. Take Trevor. Aaron Rodgers? Aaron. Tua? Tua. Jo- obviously Josh. Yep. W- New England situation, I'd probably go Daniel Jones. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know it's bad. Yeah. Um. What about Gardner Minshew, Raiden O'Connell? I don't... This is like compare. These comparisons don't even matter. They're so bad. <laughs> That's fair. Let's just go ahead 